More people will be putting away their winter outdoor gear after this weekend. Today is the last day for skiers and snowboarders on the North Shore to hit the slopes on Grouse Mountain for the season. The mountain will be closed Monday and Tuesday for scheduled maintenance. Mount Seymour and Cypress Mountains closed for the season back on April 11th. And I yes. guess that is a sign of the times. We are changing into full spring here, and look at what you're bringing us behind you. I They're know, so a cute. little bit of a traffic jam <laughs> that Tim Maine wasn't reporting from uh -oh. the Global Sky Tracker helicopter. <laughs> uh, no, but Sheila caught it on, uh, on camera earlier today. So these guys, they were on their way on a stroll to Stanley Park, and it's a beautiful day to head to the park. Cute. Siamak went to Minicata in Coquitlam and this was the view earlier today so very vivid and colorful out there with those puffy cumulus fair weather skies uh, clouds I should say and at Klukholz Lake Rob brings us this basically this is the geographical center of the province and he woke up to this site this morning so I thank you for sharing that just a beauty of a day we are seeing a little bit of active weather in some spots near the geographical center of the province and I'll show you that in just one moment but look at that we are clearing out as planned from the wall center tower cam English Bay looking fabulous uh, sunny skies 12 degrees winds coming Coming in from the west at 17 kilometers per hour. They are lighter today than they were yesterday. It's a bit of a brisk wind by the water yesterday in the afternoon that developed. Uh, today, temperatures are ranging between 14 and 17 degrees. We're all going to be clearing out a beauty of a day. It is also on Vancouver Island, up and down the Sunshine Coast, with temps ranging between 12 and 16 degrees, 16 for Port Alberni really nice. The one place where we are seeing the possibility of active weather, and it's already unfolding now, is up in the northeast of the province. So areas marked in blue have the potential for thunderstorms, and there they are already booming across the area. I shouldn't say booming, they're just smaller thunderstorms, as you can see with these lightning strikes. Uh, this is over the last two hours, by the way. As we zoom out, you'll note there's far more action happening stateside. And the Gulf of Mexico, my goodness, this area has been crippled with uh, major thunderstorms over the past several days. Uh, Texas has been flooded out. Is, is, very, is very much dealing with uh, a flooding situation due to all these thunderstorms. So they continue through the Gulf of Mexico. And back here at home, this is the next weather system that's going to be impacting us tomorrow. Not a lot of rain though. We could use more than this. Look at this, between two and four millimeters of rain for Metro Vancouver, for the island and the Sunshine Coast. And further north, Prince Rupert, eight millimeters of rain, inland sections, interior sections, just a trace amount. So, but it will be an unsettled one nonetheless tomorrow. So there's your heads up. Enjoy today's sunshine. We do have a sun cloud mix in the BC piece, but thunderstorms are possible. And as I had showed you, they're happening already, both today and tomorrow. White Horse is looking up to a sun cloud mix. It's really nice out there, 10 degrees over here. Very nice also along the north coast today. 10 is your high, a sun cloud mix. The rain pushes in as early as this evening, late evening, I should say. And we've got a sun cloud mix and a slight chance of an isolated shower in the central interior. Tomorrow we could get a thunderstorm in this region. Could also see a little active weather along the Columbia Mountains tomorrow, but today looking good out there. A sun cloud mix, 18 for you in the Kootenai, 16, well, between 14 and 16 degrees in the Columbia region, the Thompson Okanagan looking up to sunny skies. It's 18 today in Kelowna, 19 in Kamloops, 14 in Whistler Village, warmer at lower levels. And on the island, it's great out there tomorrow. Most of us have the chance of rain. With your long range forecast looking good, a little bit of everything, a very spring-like forecast. Today's a special one for Audrey Stowell of Vancouver. Ms. Stowell turns 102 today. A congratulations, a happy birthday to you. Absolutely. Happy birthday. Thanks so much, Kesha.